Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another Cup of Love, Cup of Wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what is going on. I pulled um, three color cards to get an overall energy from my Pink Floyd. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal read, email me at aceofcups0 at yahoo.com. So the three cards that I pulled is the false twin flame in reverse, um, a union, the two eyes, and then lovers in the reverse. So this is going to involve a false twin flame um, that may be waiting or watching to see if they could come into union with you again. This is a past lover. Um, or this could just be someone that you were in a connection with and this ended. But this is regarding a false twin flame and someone that you were in a relationship with at one time. There's a masculine in the reverse. So I am with that energy, I'm getting the emperor in reverse. So this is a father figure, um, husband figure, or a lover that um, is in the reverse. Somebody who is supposed to be loving, caring, kind, compassionate, and was the complete opposite of that. There's something you're not seeing clearly about this situation or that they're not seeing clearly about the situation. They want to have a new beginning with you. They want to keep you on that loop, on a record loop. Um, but this may be ended. This person may want to come into some sort of contract with you. So they could be coming towards you with some sort of marriage proposal or a relationship proposal. Maybe um, some sort of reconciliation yeah, someone sees that you're in a new cycle and that you have a new beginning coming. Um, and this person may want to be involved in that. But this person did something to you in the past that caused some sort of, I'm hearing, irreconcilable differences. There was something that happened in this relationship that caused um, a breakup, possibly even a divorce. Um, they could have ghosted you or you could have ghosted this person. This is like a female energy in the reverse. Um, and ghosting. So you could have ghosted this person to start a new cycle or they could have ghosted you and started a new cycle somewhere else and maybe it did not work out the way they thought it was going to work. I'm hearing somebody say I'm not anybody's sloppy seconds or actually the, the exact words I ain't nobody's sloppy seconds. Um, something to that effect. So um, yes. Uh, divine Femme, Divine Masculine. You're not anybody's second choice. So um, this masculine could have turned their back on you when you were in a relationship with them. There could have been some sort of infidelity or some sort of lies or secret that this person was keeping. Um, yeah, there's some sort of talk or gossip. Somebody said something to somebody. Um, so this masculine energy may have ghosted you. Or somebody may have turned their backs on you because of something that they heard about you. Or they could be having somebody watch you and reporting back to them. Maybe they're having someone keep an eye on you um, to see if you've moved on with anybody else. To see if they have an opening to come back in to this union with you. But somebody is reporting back to somebody. Somebody's whispering secrets. This could be pillow talk. <clears throat> There's a big mess to clean up. So this masculine made a mess of things. Um, if they ghosted you or did something based on lies that were told to them by somebody else, this could have caused you to move. You, you might have lived with this person and you may have moved or had to travel. Or someone could have traveled towards you to create this mess intentionally out of jealousy, spite, anger, revenge. Um, somebody told this masculine something about you and they actually believed whatever they heard. This was someone that you considered a friend. So there could have been a friend um, or someone that you looked at as um, friend, family, something like that. There was someone that was close to you that told this masculine something about you. And that's why they ghosted you. They could have told this person that you were being unfaithful to them. You could be spending a lot of time with friends or you could be part of a friends group. Um, or this masculine could be spending time with some friends. But there's a group of people here. Um, that may have been involved. So I have two masculines together here hanging out. And I look at that. I'm getting a friendship. So there could have been somebody that um, this masculine was friends with. 
that wanted this person to ghost you so that they could have a chance with you is one thing I'm getting. Um, this masculine could have been um, talking shit about you, about your relationship to a group of people, a group of guys, like their friends group. And maybe one of their friends wanted to um, shoot their shot with you and wanted an opportunity with you. So this person could have interfered with your relationship and said something about you that wasn't true. Or this friend found out something um, about this masculine um, that you didn't know about and maybe told you about it. So maybe this masculine was cheating on you and maybe their friend came and told you this. You could be a younger person or there could be a younger female involved in this situation or someone who acts immature. There's some sort of lust or passion. There's some sort of lustful energy. So one of these masculine's friends had been lusting after you. Um, and they, they want to come towards you and take their shot with you. You could have been in isolation mode. The person that you were with, your false twin flame, made you feel like you were nobody, even when you were in a group of people. Um, say that you hung out with these friends group with this masculine. This person kind of ignored you and made you feel like you needed a babysitter and acted like you weren't social or anything. But these people weren't really your friends. They were actually this masculine's friends. And they kind of left you um, and ghosted you to you know, hang out with them and kind of left you sitting alone, like at a party. And someone was watching you and admiring you kind of from behind the scenes. And I feel like this is one of the masculine's friends that had been watching you and kind of admiring you like a secret admirer kind of thing. And they're hoping that you do not reconcile with this person because they want to come into some sort of union with you. They may want to, um, I'm hearing wife swap. I don't know. So someone had a decision to make. This is a crossroads. Someone had a decision to make and they made the wrong choice. So there's a masculine. <clears throat> this false twin flame made the wrong decision to ghost you and hook up with somebody else. And now this friend and this person, could, this masculine could have even hooked up with his friend's wife, I'm getting. And so maybe... <laughs> This friend wants to um, take their shot with you. Um, not necessarily out of revenge. They've had a crush on you for a while. But they are connected to your false twin flame in some way. And I'm getting that they were part of the same friends group. You guys hung out together at some point. Yeah. This friend knows about um, some sort of secret there's these two guys without a shirt on. And um, so if this masculine stayed out all night, this masculine friend, this masculine's friend, this false twin flames friend knows what they were doing, what they were up to. So maybe this um, false twin flame said that they were hanging out with their friends um, and they stayed out all night, but they were actually with another female. Okay, I'll take that as confirmation. That just randomly started talking on its own. Um, someone is trying to keep their feelings hidden. So they may not have come towards you yet. But there's someone that's keeping a secret or keeping their intentions hidden. And it could be this false twin flame that wants to come back towards you. But their friend knows some sort of secret about them. Maybe they, come, they came towards you and told you. Or maybe you had some sort of suspicion about what happened. But someone is trying to keep something hidden in this, whether it's their identity or a secret. Someone is trying to keep something from being revealed. Could have been a work fair situation. So whatever this person is keeping hidden, 
this false twin flame. It could be that they were having a workplace affair. This is on the back of a woman. So there could have been something to do with a workplace affair that the false twin flame was keeping hidden. And it could be actually their friend that is your true twin flame. Um, yeah, talk about a love triangle. <laughs> For real. So this, this masculine could have actually worked with their friend's wife, and it didn't have to be, but I'm getting two different scenarios where one was this, um, there, this was a workplace affair, but there was a masculine that cheated on um, a divine feminine with their friend's wife or the other way around, depending on your gender, you know, flip the roles as needed. But there is a feminine energy that could be coming towards you, and somebody um, had a lot of beds. Somebody slept around a lot. So there could be a feminine energy coming towards you to expose some sort of secret that they know. This could even be the person that the this masculine, um, this false twin had an affair with. Um, they could know about multiple people that this person slept with. And they had been watching. Um, I feel like this person... Um, this feminine energy who may be coming towards you to approach you has been watching to see if this masculine and you are going to have some sort of reconciliation, but I don't feel like you are going to take this person back. But there's a feminine energy who has been watching to see if this person is coming back to you because they, even though they put themselves in this third party situation and slept with them knowing that they were with you, they actually want to be with this person, so they. I feel like they deserve each other. Um, you are seen as a divine femme. I can't show the whole card because, you know, it shows her naked butt. But um, you are seen as a divine feminine in this case. So you are in the upright, and someone is watching you, trying to mimic you and copy you because this masculine, you still have this masculine's attention somehow or some way. Um, and they, uh, they're they watching you to see if you've gone forward or moved ahead. But while you, this masculine is watching you, this false empress, this, this female energy, this karmic female energy I'm picking up on is watching them to see if they've come back towards you because they don't want to give this masculine up. I don't get this situation. I don't, I don't know. But this female feels like she can tame the beast and... They're both karmic energies, so like I said, they both kind of deserve each other. Mm, someone's about to be shocked or stopped dead in their tracks. So this masculine could be stepping forward um, to try to stop this female from coming towards you. Um, someone is left scratching their butt. Someone is confused about a situation, why something didn't work. This masculine may, um, this karmic masculine, this false twin flame, may be scared about this person coming towards you. They may have threatened this masculine to come expose them or some secret that they had. Um, this masculine could have expressed some sort of feelings about wanting to come back towards you. And this female is left looking stupid and ignorant because she's left scratching her butt. Um, there's an energy here that's left um, looking stupid because they uh, they were an imitation. They were trying to be something they, that, that they weren't to get this person's attention. And whatever they did, it didn't work. And someone is being stopped dead in their tracks because they know that this was a false... Um, this was a big mistake. Someone's feeling like they made a big mistake, but it's too late. They already did this. And to be... I'm not, this person did this multiple times. This was not a one-time thing. These people met up more than once to have an affair. You were in a union with this person. You were both in a union. Um, you and this person that they were sleeping with were both in a union in the reverse. So you were both committed to other people when this happened. And nobody was supposed to find out about it. This female energy had their hand out or said that you were had your hand out. They could have accused you of being a gold digger. Maybe you and this female hung out. Maybe you were supposedly friends at one time. Um, but someone said that they couldn't take care of you or someone didn't take care of you when they should have. Someone should have taken care of you and nurtured you. But someone told this person that you just had your hand out and that you were a gold digger. And this masculine believed this, this person. They didn't even think... 
twice about it. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, if they were in a full-blown relationship with you, don't you think that they should know? Someone said that you were controlling in a situation, that you were domineering, that you just had your hand out. This masculine spread lies about you. Um, they could have gotten the impression that their friend wanted to come towards you. Like I said, I'm hearing that wife swapping thing. So this masculine was actually sleeping with his friend's wife. And it's ironic because he didn't want his friend to come towards you, even though he was cheating on you, whoever this is going to be for. This is weird. So this masculine, this false twin flame, was telling um, this person that you were controlling, that you, did, you don't know how to take care of a home or them, that you had your hand out, that you were a gold digger. And they expected this person to run away from you, but it's almost like they turned around and they almost did. But your true twin flame is still lurking in the shadows. And in in I'm not meaning like literally lurking, but they're still coming up in the energy because they don't believe this stuff that was said about you, even though this false twin flame believed what they were told about you by this skank ho. Your true twin flame does not believe that. So just when, um, you know, your false twin thought they scared off your true twin flame, they're going to make like a U-turn and come back around. It's kind of, I'm getting misdirection. Someone is purposefully giving somebody misdirection so they can't interfere when they do come towards you, if that makes any sense. This person is trying to keep it hidden that they were actually... Um, Goo goo for you, Gaga. I mean, this was in the reverse of this is past energy, but this true twin flame really tried to keep it hidden that they had this big crush on you and that they wanted something more with you. Um, because you could have really been in love with this false twin flame and you could have thought that they were the true twin flame, but the false one always comes before the true one if you do, in fact, have one. Not everybody does. But this person actually, um, oh. I mean, it's more than just a crush. It's it, They were very much lusting after you. Like, they very much wanted to be with you. But they don't want you to think that they're doing this to get some sort of revenge on their friend for sleeping with their wife. This person really has had a crush on you for a long time, but um, they don't want you to think when they come towards you that it's out of bad purposes or intent or some sort of revenge against somebody for doing them wrong. There was a king of cups here who did something based on their emotions. They were emotionally unstable. They, they slept with multiple people and they did not take into consideration who they were going to hurt when they did this. I mean, they did this to their own best friend. Their own financial stability could have been affected by this, or they tried to affect your financial stability, or they did when this separation occurred, especially if this was a marriage situation. Somebody's financial stability was affected. The Wheel of Fortune is in your favor for those who are upright, divine femme, divine masculine. You're going to re receive some sort of communication that somebody lied to you, page of wands, that someone was very immature and they lied to you and um, they they did something. They were hiding some sort of information from you and someone's going to come towards you and reveal some sort of secret that you may not have known about. getting anything else out of there so I will get some message cards and see what comes out mm. so someone that was being two-faced in a situation caught something thank god I'm an atheist so this is someone who is being two-faced so somebody caught something in the situation and they could be a carrier um this could be an STD or something, and they may not show signs or symptoms of it, but they're a carrier of whatever this is. You needed to cut somebody off, or somebody cut you off. Somebody got cut off in the past, maybe because you found out that they're two-faced and they um, possibly have an STD. Or they could be some sort of carrier for something. 
Um, but you cut this person off or they cut you off, but I feel like you cut them off. This new person, your true twin flame, feels like you have a very strong connection. There's a lot of emotions going on with this. Um, this person wants to come towards you, but they don't know how you will receive them. But they're also afraid of your false twin flame coming back because there's a false twin that's going to come back and say that they've changed. And they're going to say that the affair that they had, it's not serious. It was a one-time thing. But like I said, it did happen multiple times. This person is being really quiet. Be quiet. We need to hear a pin drop. This person is being really quiet. They may not have spoken to you for a little while. They may have thought that after a significant amount have, of time has passed that you would just get over it and they could just come back in and you would just forget about everything that happened and not remember that they were cheating on you with their best friend's wife or whatever. Um, <laughs> I did a reading quite a while back. It, this was a while, a while back. And it was um, one about a best friend getting into a fight and like, you know, hitting his friend or something. I don't know if this is connected to that one, but that was a long time ago. Someone was doing legit spell work and using dark magic. So someone was doing legit spell work or dark magic to keep somebody bound to a situation or blinded from a situation. They created some sort of illusion and we all have baggage in the reverse. So this masculine could have even been doing dark magic or some sort of spell work or the person that they were sleeping with the friend's wife or significant other, whoever this is going to be for, they could have actually been doing some sort of magic to keep this masculine attracted to them. But this true twin flame feels like they found it again with you. This, um, your true twin flame has a lot of emotions for you, but they're a little afraid. They have these loving feelings towards you. And they want to try again, but they don't know how this is going to work out um, because of the past. There's something that happened when the situation went down. There could have even been an altercation between you and this masculine when this happened. Maybe you found out about it and told this masculine and they didn't believe you um, is one thing I'm getting. So even though they had a crush on you or something, they were still being loyal and faithful to their cheating, you know, ass woman, whoever that was. But... They were being faithful to this person, but they feel like they found it again with you. This is a kind of weird um, situation. Someone has a sex addiction, and there were secret lovers. So they could have even involved themselves in a threesome or something without you knowing about it. Someone has a sex addiction. So they could have actually had a threesome or something before your false twin flame hooked up with you. So this masculine, their friend and their friend's um, wife or significant other could have had a threesome before you got together with this false twin. And then they were being um, secret lovers behind the scenes. And you may have suspected this, found out about it, told this um, other masculine who is supposed to be your true twin flame. This is a weird twist of fate. I'm not going to lie. Somebody thought you were just saying it out of anger. Stop making me angry in the reverse. So somebody thought that you were doing this um, just out of spite or to hurt this person. Um, this masculine didn't believe that their friend would go behind their back and do this to them. So they, they really didn't believe you when you told them about it. Mm, but this, the, your true twin flame um, is finding out life's a bitch and they're crying a river because they found out that you were right the whole time and they misjudged you. A fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius could be significant. And then the initials M, N, O, or P could be significant. You were telling the truth about a situation and someone didn't want to believe it. Good things come to those who wait. So you could be just patiently waiting for the right person. You could be um, celibate at this time. After this relationship ended, you may have been in other relationships or you may have chosen to remain celibate. Take it how it applies to your situation. But there is a Libra here. And then I have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And then a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then a Leo came out again.
there's a lot of signs that happened. <laughs> Someone is seeing you as the real deal, the real McCoy. Someone believes that you're authentic. Um, if you have spiritual gifts or something, your um, false twin could have said that you were into dark magic, dark arts or something. You were doing some sort of spell work and it was actually the other, um, their friend's wife that was doing it or them themselves doing the magic. Someone was a narcissist and they have a short temper. I believe I already said that in the beginning. I'm not sure if it was this reading or not. But I believe that somebody um, is very um, explosive. Someone has um, a very explosive temper. A cancer could be significant. A broken record. This is a broken cycle. Um, there's a cancer that has a very big hair trigger. They're very easily triggered. The cycle has ended with them. You err on the side of caution. Better safe than sorry. Maybe you felt like this person could hurt you physically if you stayed with them. And karma's a bitch. This person's going to have to experience being left alone or experience some sort of karma for whatever they put you through. Heard through the grapevine in the reverse. This false twin could have heard that this person already came towards you, this true twin flame. So they've been watching and spying on you to see if this person actually did come towards you. And... The person, the karmic female that this person ended up with, the uh, um, your true twin flames karmic has been watching this masculine. It's like these two karmics hooked up together. They might as well just stay together because karmics be karmics. Just you might as well just whoever. If there's two karmics watching and they're in this situation, you know what? Just stay with each other because these divine femmes and masculines don't want your asses back. I can tell you that right now. Let them move on with their true twin flame. I don't care if it's your friend or somebody new. Let them live their life. Just stay the hell away from these people. They don't deserve the bullshit drama y'all bring to them. Someone's going to be letting the cat out of the bag, and this may add insult to injury. So there, there's someone coming towards you that um, knows something that you don't know, whether you think you know it all or not. Someone could be coming towards you to let the cat out of the bag, to um, let you in on some sort of secret. And this may just add insult to injury. And it could be that they found out that they have some STD or something and they need um, you to go get tested or something. There's someone who is a carrier in this. Whether they have signs or symptoms, they're some sort of carrier to something that they're passing along to people whether they know it or not. There's something significant that's going to be happening for a Pisces around lunchtime or noon. There's something that happened um, in a past winter. So someone got tempted by the low-hanging fruit in a past winter. So this could have happened like a year ago for some of you. Or this could be happening this winter and, you know, this could be playing out. This is past, present, or future. It just depends on where you are in the timeline. Okay, so something happened in a past winter for a Capricorn. There's somebody who is going to meet up with somebody, somebody and be tempted. It could be another Pisces um, or it could be a Pisces um, that's going to meet up at noon um, to have this affair if they haven't already. And then there's an Aquarius. No guts, no glory. So your true twin flame could be an Aquarius or someone that's coming towards you could be an Aquarius and they want to, they're going to let you, they're going to come towards you and let you know how they feel and they're going to shoot their shot. Um, there could be an Aries um, that did something and you saw the writing on the wall. And then I have Sagittarius who is taking control of their life. Um, so there's a Sagittarius taking control of their own situation you saw the writing on the wall regarding an Aries. And this Aries is hitting the panic button because you're never looking back. You don't want anything to do with them. All right, I'm running out of time, so anything else? There's something that happened in a past um, fall with a cancer that came out as well. The place for the other team, this person is your ops. They fell off the wall, off the wagon. This person is back on the substances. If they've been clean and sober for, from something for a while, they're back on that shit. All right. Or they lied all together about, um, you know, not using them and they never actually stopped. T could be significant. 
key. This could be a person, place, or a thing. Take it how it resonates. D could be significant. So someone could be um, a physical therapist or have a PhD. I have R and O. So I have P, T, R, D, and O, okay? I hope this helps, folks. Have a good day.